At the 2004 Democratic National Convention, citizens and supporters of Washington, D.C. convened on the Boston Harbor, where 228 years prior people fought to establish American freedom. Uh, my friends, this act that we are doing today is no stunt. Our country can forgive us if they may, if we dump a little tea into the harbor today. It would take an amendment to the Constitution in 1961 for D.C. residents to vote for president and vice president. In 1978, Congress passed the Voting Rights Act amendment giving D.C. voting representation in Congress. The amendment died after failing to be ratified by 38 states. With the establishment of home rule in 1974, D.C. residents finally gained the right to elect a mayor and city council. Many thought and hoped that D.C. was on its way to becoming self-governed. That idea would be a distant memory when a financial control board was put into place by Congress in 1995. The board seized control of the public school system in 1996, and in 1998, the board took operational control of the city from then-Mayor Marion Barry. In 1999, it shut down the city's only public hospital, D.C. General and then the board disbanded in 2001. The nation's capital is one of the most crime-ridden cities in the United States, yet Congress has enacted legislation that would make it legal to carry firearms. Clearly here were legislators who had no regard for the city's will. You know, we passed the gun law 30 years ago, and it's never changed. All of a sudden now they decide they want to change it for us. He believes in uh, you know, promoting uh, constitutional rights and uh, he believes that people ought to be able to defend themselves. Uh. Even tonight, if we were to approach Capitol Hill, how our car will be briefly paused and looked into, and yet you want to give people more access to more guns. The kids who are being shot by accident, uh, who are involved in crimes, they're not going to be uh, saved or be able to protect themselves because they have a handgun. In 2004, ignoring pleas from city officials, Representative Rodney Frelinghuysen, chairman of the Appropriations Subcommittee on D.C., refused to remove a rider that blocks the use of local tax dollars to lobby for congressional voting representation. The ban also prevents the city from funding a shadow congressional delegate, two senators, and representative. Congress voted to force school vouchers on D.C., Senator Feinstein of California endorsed Congress's imposition of school vouchers while saying she would never agree to vouchers in her home state. Can you believe that the D.C. City Council unanimously passed a bill called contraceptive equity and it was overturned by men, yes they were all men, except from out of town. This is outrageous, this is immoral, this is unfair. There have been several bills introduced in Congress concerning voting rights and representation for D.C. There's two bills. There's one that uh, is where we would get one vote um, in the House, but then Utah, a very conservative place, would get another vote. His idea of what we need is a lot less than everybody else's rights in our country, which is we get one vote in the House, no senators, no governor, no legislature, no autonomy, like every other state. Yeah, the Congressman introduced the uh, District of Columbia Voting Rights Restoration Act uh, to restore the same voting rights that residents of the District of Columbia had prior uh, to their being carved out of uh, Maryland. You can't just put us in another state and force another state to accept us. So I don't really think that's a viable um, option. There's absolutely no reason why we couldn't merge with any other state. And for my money, I'd like to go with Alaska because we get the oil royalties. <laughs> in 1993, when we did get a vote on stage, when we had momentum, when we had a lot of people who were very involved, and the people on the Hill were somewhat supportive, immediately this group of people that didn't want us to get statehood came up with this idea 
that we would join Maryland. D.C. being a laboratory for neoliberal ideas. What I mean by that is you can test school vouchers here. You can test uh, privatization of hospitals. You can test building baseball stadiums. And so D.C. in many ways is a laboratory and just like lab rats, um, the people in the city, the people in the city are left um, to die after all the tests have been done.